tonight. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we are underway in Buffalo. Taken from about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. Buffalo gave Allen the most guaranteed money in league history before the start of last season, and boy, did he justify it by playing at an elite level once again, taking the Bills to 11 wins and another division title. Along the way, he threw for over 4,400 yards again and ran for 760 with 42 total touchdowns for a top five offense. They were knocked down an overtime thriller against Kansas City in the playoffs, and they will be one of the favorites to win the AFC this season. So first and 10 now from the 30. Allen looking to throw it right at the outset. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. To throw again on second down. Allen throwing the out route incomplete. It's McKenzie. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? From just shy of midfield, Allen, short pass tip, but caught anyway. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Sometimes luck is all you need. That was not even the intended receiver on that play. Well, Johnny on the spot, though. Yeah, and it turned into a big play for those guys on offense. They'll take it each and every time. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's got some space here. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, 
as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to... On first down, Allen got his man complete over the middle. It's Davis. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well-drilled, well-prepared, and excited to start this game. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Allen, nifty footwork, and they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Allen going to go on fourth down. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They run here with Singletary, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bills will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Footing always a concern, but the extra point's up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. A 10-play drive that time, and it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Amari Rodgers to return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. And he floats one there incomplete. 
even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Rodgers going to throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. And Oliver collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Buying time to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. down here's Sam Martin on to kick it away <laughs> 31 yards on the punt there and it'll be Packer football here first down and 10 the Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive it hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. 
A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Second and ten now from about the 32. Here's Rodgers. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. To throw is Rodgers. And able to find Alan Lazard. On the move past the 40. Still going inside the 20. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Pretty good yards after the catch there on that crossing route. Is a crossing route good for a quarterback because the receiver's coming across his line of vision? They love those kind of throws. And how many times have you seen any of what we call an in-breaking route? quarterback really turns it loose doesn't he has a lot more confidence because he can see the play right in front of him now Rodgers being chased out left and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Rodgers taking it in from four yards out. And the Packers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And Aaron Rodgers carries the mail himself into the end zone. Now, we know he's not running as much as he used to, but he still has plenty of mobility to get outside the pocket and scare teams. A lot of them are still playing him to throw the ball downfield. But when he decides to take off, he's still dangerous. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Just a four-play drive that time, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. But Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Good catch there by Dawson Knox, and everything just clicked for him in his third season in the league in 2021. Nine touchdown catches tied for the league lead among tight ends. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he can only manage to get a couple. 
Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They go right back to Singletary. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Allen looks to throw on third and one. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Rolling to his right. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. On the handoff, running left, Singletary. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Throwing now is Allen. Throw left side complete. That's McKenzie. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 16. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing again on second down. Allen. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. 
Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll look to run with Moss. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Bills touchdown. Zach Moss taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills have taken the lead. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that one along 11 play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Here's Rodgers to throw. And all this is taken in one hand and what a catch. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First down is Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers. Just two for seven throwing the football. But he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes. And they're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut. Balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. Eluding the pressure right. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. That's complete to Lazard. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. Three. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers escaping the pressure right. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well, as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Dancing to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. On second down, it's Jones. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man, and he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. And they'll begin by running the option. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. 
and defensively they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Quay Walker. And the Packers are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks him right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 21. Looking to throw. Oh, he catches it off the tip. It wasn't even intended for him. But when we see the ball tipped in the air, sometimes we get a little roll change, don't we? Because when it's in the air, sometimes the defensive back becomes a receiver. And in this case, the receiver looked like a defensive back, but ended up a receiver. He caught it. There's a receiver. <laughs> hey, it worked out. Worked out really well for them. But I'm telling you, the defensive guys. Frustrated. Oh, frustrated. They're going to catch it in film. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Rodgers' throw finds its target, Dobbs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here's second and a yard. On play action, now Rodgers. Forced out to his left, and he'll just get rid of it. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Rodgers. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. 
That'll give him eight that time. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. the gun it's Allen getting the football to Davis on an out route and he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49 call it a gain of five as they move the sticks and a good quarterback facing zone coverage if he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene that's what's going to happen no doubt about it if there's no pressure he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield you can only cover for so long so maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme get a little bit more pressure remember when carolina did that against denver they lost the game ultimately and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. on second and 14. Allen. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 14. Allen. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. On the return, it's Rodgers, and he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 24. Now back to throw. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. 
throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Rodgers. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So five yards here, five on the play. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. To throw, it's Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. And some room to maneuver. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw here pulled in by Lazard. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. 
but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. On second down, here's a run with Singletary, and they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Singletary again. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Take a knee here. <laughs> on second down, here's a run with Moss. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Get, get, get. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair, low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes.
find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. For my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew, I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.